This is so the clients and their family can create a fire escape plan. You just want to make sure that you do have two ways out of every room that you're in. Outside, pick up your buckets and vehicles. You got drill, hand sanitizer, screws. I try to put the smoke alarm between the wall and maybe a ceiling fan. We've had cases where people have come to visit and there's been a fire and they didn't have the information that the two of you have. That's the test button. It was great, you know, people were very appreciative and it went smoothly. We installed 10 smoke alarms and we probably saved the lives of potentially 15 people that did not have smoke alarms. Um, it's always uplifting to talk to people when they're not aware of how dangerous their homes can be. <laughs> and if they made a few uh, special adjustments, they would be in a much safer environment. And we installed uh, seven in three different residents. I'm hoping that uh, if any of those have any type of uh, a fire in the future, that those will help save lives. I tell you, every time we do it, it's very rewarding because the last house we uh, did alarms and they had no working alarms. The relief and her face, um, I'll take that with me because I think she really appreciated what we did. It made me feel good. I really made a difference today in her life. You know, it's, it's very fulfilling. It's very nice to be able to help people. And I guess that's why we're part of the Red Cross. Nancy, we thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Thank you guys so Daddy. much for coming out. And this is a big thank oh, you from you. us to you thank for you. saving some lives today. Thank you.